This one for the young people, the young, young people who don't know nothing about the blues. <laughs> the red light listening to Lightning Hopkins. You remember Lightning Hopkins? He sang that song. Oh, Lightning, don't mind dying. I just don't want to be dead so long. When this young boy, maybe 17 years old, stopped beside me and a Honda Accord. And he had the bass so loud, it was coming from his car into my van, disrespecting Mr. Hopkins. I turned off my CD, I let my windows up, but it was too loud. It was coming in my van. I pulled into the service to get some diesel. He came to get some gas. And he didn't turn it down. It 
was so loud, the bass was bouncing against the ceiling, bouncing against the pump, vibrating down the holes in my hand. It was vibrating. And I had to ask him, excuse him, why? Yeah, you. Why you got the bass so loud, man? He looked at me. What? I said, why you got your bass so loud? He said, so I can feel it. Oh, man. So I can feel it. I don't mind if he feel it. It's okay to feel it. But don't call me old man in public. <laughs> I don't like it. I walked over to him with my hands exposed so he could see. I didn't have my gun with me. My gun was at home. He pulled his pants up. And when he let them go, they fell right back where he pulled them from. I said, young man, you got your bass so loud. You scaring those ladies. They're afraid of you. They think you're a thug. His bass sounded like this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You have this in France, too. He reached in his pocket. He got his remote control. He turned it down. He turned it down. He said, okay. Okay. It's down. What? It's down. What? I said, I know this song. That's Tupac Shakur. He said, you know Tupac? I said, yeah, I know about Tupac. He said, oh, no, you're too old to know about Tupac. I said, he going to say, as I bail through the empty hall, but thinking never call, bring, bring, bring quiet y'all, ain't come and call. But said my homie from high school, he getting by, it's time to bury another brother, nobody cry. Like there's a ball out the hole and booty call, we used to do him as adolescent, do you recall? Raise the G's, broke that blaze with me, get on the roof, get smoked that blaze with me. Two in the morning, that was still high as stop. Streaming good till I die before I passed out. But now that you're gone, I'm in a zone thinking, I don't want to die all alone, but now you're gone. All of y'all last think memories, I love the brother to death, I drank Hennessy. Try to make it last, I drink a fifth for you when you pay. He said, wow. He said, mister, mister. He said, mister, I didn't know you know that. Oh, mister, I didn't know you know that. I said, I know about Tupac. But do you know about the temptations? He said, no. I said, you don't know about Curtis Mayfield and the impressions? He said, no. I said, you don't know about Gladys Knight, woo -woo, midnight train to Georgia? He said, no. I said, man, you don't know about Aretha Franklin, Big Mama Thornton, Billy Holiday, Coco Taylor? He said, no. I said, you don't even know about Albert Collins or Albert King or Freddie King? He said, uh-uh. I said, you don't know about Stevie Ray or Larry McCray? He said, no. I said, you don't even know about Muddy Waters or B.B. King? He said, I know about B.B. King. I said, that don't count. Everybody should know about B.B. King. I looked in his car. He had lots of CDs on his seat. I said, how many CDs do you have in here? He said, I don't know, 100, 150, I don't know. I said, well, how many watts do you have in your radio? He said, 1,500 each side. I said, 1,500 each side? I said, how many sides do you have? He said, two. I said, you have 3,000 watts in this car. 150 CDs and no real music? <laughs> he said, I have real music. I have new music. I said, there's no such thing as new music, young man. All you do is sample the old music to have a sound. I said, when I was your age, I had hip hop too. But we didn't call it hip hop. We called it soul. What did we call it? Soul. Oh. <laughs> what did we call it? Soul. Oh. 
And a man from Memphis, Tennessee gave me my hip hop back in the late 60s with a song like this. <laughs> singing the blues. Done a real fine job. 